and this gave us his fourth project, How to Say It. And um, it, it was actually, when I thought about it, at first when I listened to you, Denise, it, it, it was, to be honest, for me, it was a little bit difficult to follow you at times. But then when I, when I, when I thought about your speech as a whole, I thought that what you did is actually very smart. Because, like I said at the, when I gave the preview to the speech, so it's about rhetorical devices. And I asked you all, what are rhetorical devices? Because it's such a difficult concept. And as a matter of fact, the rhetorical devices, I, I researched, I did a Google while I was doing the evaluation. The rhetorical devices is any type of figure of speech that speakers use to communicate more effectively. That's why, because it's so broad, that's why English teachers have a difficult time answering the question, what is a rhetorical device? So I told you it's not a trick question, but in a way it is. So what are examples? So it, a metaphor, alliteration, uh, amorphization. So these are all complex terms, but anyway, he used all of those. That's why I was impressed. So I got that you did a, quite a significant amount of research and preparation to prepare that speech. You used very sophisticated techniques in that speech. For example, the orange, right? At the beginning, what did he do? Yeah. So he got the orange from Tuba and passed it back, right? So that, that is a rhetorical device because he made a comparison with the orange, right? He, he, the orange is what we should obtain to be, which is to just be an orange. There's no ego, there's no perfectionism like a chocolate. It's not a hamburger screaming, eat me, eat me. It just is. And he used it at the beginning of his speech, and he used it at the end of his speech, and it was a very nice example of a rhetorical device. It, it was a, a speech that had a lot of sophistication in it. But then I have to tell you one thing. So, this speech could have been a world-class speech, actually. But you need to do one thing to make it world-class. Don't forget about Project 2. Project 2 is called Organize Your Speech. There was one issue with your speech, and that was that the, the concepts were all over. You need to tie them together. You need to, because for our brains, we're not that sophisticated, most of us. For example, me, I can't, I, I had to, I, I took all those concepts, I had to retie them and rearrange it, and then it makes sense. So you have to arrange it for us, you have to structure your speech for us, so that it's simple to follow you. So look, we are very simple beings. You're very sophisticated. You have these great ideas, but make it simple for us. Give us a list, one, two, three, four, and then it will, that, that, that speech can be world class. All it needs is a little bit of organization. But uh, I really enjoyed it. I, I really thank you for putting the effort and, and researching in how to present this correctly. And, that, and that's, it's very simple. And don't forget, actually for everyone, Project 2, never forget about Project 2. Whatever you do, even if you're making a humorous speech, any of the advanced speech project, always keep Project 2 in mind, which is organize your speech. If that speech had been organized, it would have been a world class speech. Congratulations.